up guys and welcome to another hacker on video in this video we're going to be printing a linked list in reverse so this is one of those problems that a lot of people have probably seen if you were in college they probably ask you to reverse a linked list and the fastest way to do that would be or the more appropriate way is to use um, tail recursion right so the way tail recursion works is the recursive call happens before the logic actually happens. So what happens is if we have a bunch of nodes like so, right? And we know that the last node is going to be null. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the head and we're going to recurse so we're going to take the function that takes the head and we're going to recurse over that. So the next time it goes past the once it recurs it's going to go over here and then it's going to this is going to recurse and go over here and this is going to recur and go over here. So this is no. So what it's going to do is that the recursion is going to stop and then it's going to go ahead and print out the logic, right? And then what it's going to do is it's going to go back to the function that actually called it, which is this one because the way function calls works are that their function calls are placed on the stack, right? So um, once it's once this is here, it's gonna get placed on the top of the stack. It's gonna go ahead and finish the logic, and it needs to know it needs to go back to which recursive call actually called this. So it's gonna go back to this one, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish finish where we started from. So functions know exactly where they called other functions and how to return to the spot that they called the function from. So if you made a recursive call, what, it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go and say, okay, well, the recursive call happened at this line and then I'm not really done finishing doing what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that stuff. So if the stuff was to print out the data, it will just go ahead and print out the data, right? And then it's gonna go back to the recursive call that actually called it. And it's gonna to go to the same thing. It's gonna say, well, I still have the data to print out, so I'm gonna print out the data. And then it's gonna go back here. But what you've seen us do is that we've just literally just printed out the information backwards because we traverse this, and then by the um, functions being pulled off the stack, um, we're pretty much uh, going back and printing out the information. And we have printed out the stuff in reverse. So let's go ahead here and implement this. So the first thing we're gonna do is check to see if head is uh, equal to null because this is gonna be our base case. So we're gonna say if head is equal equal to null, then we're just gonna go ahead and return, right? Then we need to make our recursive call. So we're gonna say reverse um, print, and we're gonna pass in head dot next. So like I said. What we're going to do is we're going to go, hey, is the head no? No, it's not no. So we're going to go here. Is this no? No, it's not no. So we go here. Is this no? No, it's not no. So we go here. This is finally no. So what we're going to do is we'll print out the data. And then because the way stacks work, it's going to go back to the function that called it. It knows exactly the line where it made the recursive call. And once it, once it do, it's going to go back and it's going to go to the next line. It's going to execute the statement there. So for this, the statement that we need to execute is printing out the data. So what we can do is we can do a system dot out dot print line and pass in head dot data. Okay. So like I said, same here. When it reaches here, right, it's going to go ahead and print the data, print data, print data, and print data. So. This is pretty much the easiest way to do it. And there's a problem I see here. It says that we need to actually um, reverse the list. And we're gonna use exactly the same logic here, except that we're not gonna, this is gonna be different, right? Because this is gonna be different than um, using the system out of print line. But that should be it, this is pretty simple. So let's go ahead here and just run this. And submit. Alright guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.